In this presentation, we're going to look at some examples on how to use budgets in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. We look at original and revised budgets, how, and then how to spread a budget either on one dimensions or across multiple dimensions. So let's start by creating, by having two budgets, one general budget that is so created, let's say, in December before uh, that the year starts and we'll create a revised budget. Okay, we're going to start with the general budget. We don't have any data on it. So for the original budget, we've got the option to put GL entries to based on the uh, actual entries or on the previous budget entries. We copy the dimension that we want and we're going to put that in our general budget and to increase to, uh, by a factor, so 1.05, let's say something with to do with inflation and uh, how you going to, you predicting the the cost and the revenues as a starting point. So that's created for the general. Now, if we were to do the revised, so we are in June. So what we could do is take the actuals for the first five months, January to May. Okay, we select the dimensions that we need. And we copy that to our revised budget. Okay, no adjustment factors exactly as they are. So for the first five months, we have the actuals. And now what we could do is for the rest of the year is to check the original, the general budget. So we're going to filter it from June to December. Okay, so now let's look at how to spread um, a budget across one dimension. So if we want to go to have our uh, sales targets for each sales representative, we could have, so let's show the GL account that we use for the year. So we have the salesperson, so GL accounts for just for sales. Okay, so we're just interested in the uh, sales domestic and sales export. And we could start typing the total target for the year. So again, this I put a minus as a convention because of the uh, nav that use plus for debit and minus for credit. But that's a convention and you need to be consistent in, our, in your budgets. So now let's export that to Excel and we want 12 months. Okay, and here let's say that we don't uh, we don't want to spread that evenly month by month because we may have some uh, seasonality, some months uh, where uh, there we have more activities than others. So as a starting point, I put 
10% on each one each month but there is too it's too much so here I've I've got 100% so 5% on 4 months and 10% on the other months and now we need to do some uh, some work in Excel to spread that depending on the seasonality so I'm starting to copy the uh, the yearly budget so so far it was all in January and we want that for each month so I'm starting with by putting a formula I'm tweaking the dollar value to make it quicker okay so we've got for each reps the value of January and now we want to to put that on every month so I'm going to do a replace all to remove the dollar values okay so now my formula should be good to be uh, expanded to the right I feel right that's good and I'm going to copy that to get the values okay I'm removing my total that's good now I can just save it and it's ready to be imported in ex uh, from Excel so there's a bit of tweaking in Excel but then it's all spread out month by month so let's look now by month and we have the targets of each reps month by month now if we want to instead of creating another budget if we want to use the existing one so that's the sales budget and this one we don't have any information on the uh, department and salesperson and instead of creating one other budget we may want to spread that one and put the right de uh, department code and salesperson code so I'm going to copy the, the first line as I notice that I have four sales rep so I create a line for each sales representative okay its department code is going to be sales everywhere I can fill that down and now we need to do some tweakings in uh, in Excel so let's say JR is 25% accounts for 25% of our total sales the second one and the third one So we put 15% on uh, LM, 35 on MD, and to 25 on PS. So we all at 100%. Uh, We've got $200,000. We're going to fill that right and do a copy paste. We're pasting the the value as so we need to pay the values so let's do that again copy and not adjust the paste but uh, pasting the values now we can remove 
that and copy our data. Okay, let's delete that and because we spread it, we spread our budget, so we the so total without any dimension it should be zero. So let's save this budget and import it from Excel. So here we are replacing the values, we're not adding them. So the total amount stays the same, but now we've got them spread into salesperson and department.